For this bunny mug rug I'm going to be using cutaway stabiliser, my 5x7 hoop, threads, I'm using uh, a variegated for all the decorative edge stitching and I've got a matching bobbin as well. I'm using brown and white for the facial features. I've got my curved scissors, my masking tape and my fabrics cut to size. I'm using felt today rather than batting. I'm going to start off by hooping my stabiliser. I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number one which is going to provide me with the outline. I've put a piece of paper under here and I hope that you can see that that's my outline there. Next I'm going to lay my uh, batting, in this case felt, over the top making sure that I cover all the outline and then I'm going to place my background fabric over the top of that. I'm going to use a little piece of uh, tape just to hold it in place so that it doesn't move while it's being stitched. I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number two which is going to stitch that down. Next I'm going to place my um, background fabric over this outline here, the one that's just been stitched. And once again I'm going to tape it in position so that it doesn't move. I'm now going to pop that back in my machine and stitch round number three which is going to stitch it down. Next is a stippling that's going to cover the background and that's round number four. We're now going to remove all the excess fabric. We're going to cut all in here around the uh, area where the rabbit's going to be and around the edge. I've loaded my variegated thread into my machine and I'm now going to stitch round number five which is going to do the decorative zigzagging all the way around the rabbit and the outside of the background. I've just taken this out of my machine so that you can see a little bit close up the decorative stitching there. It's probably difficult to see with a variegated thread but it really does look nice. Okay, I've loaded some white into my machine and next I'm going to stitch round number six which is going to do the whites of the eyes. So that's the white of the eyes done and the, the nose as well. Um, I've loaded brown thread into my machine and I'm now going to stitch round number seven which is going to complete all the facial features. So next we're going to add our backing fabrics to the front and I've got my 8x6 pieces folded and pressed in half and I'm going to line the bottom one up with the outside edge of the fabric and I'm going to tape it in place and I'm going to tape this piece down here just so that it can't move and I'm now going to take my second piece with the fold obviously pointing towards the middle and line that up with the outside edge of the uh, front. I'm just going to try and get that straight here so that uh, it looks nice when you turn it over. I'm not too worried about the other one because it's hidden. And once again tape that in place. And I'm going to put a little bit of tape on the outside here because I don't want my foot getting caught up underneath the, the overlap of the fabrics and same for the other side here like so. I'm now going to pop that in my machine and stitch round number eight which is going to attach both the fabrics. I'm now going to remove all the tape
and I'm going to free this from the hoop. And next I'm going to trim up all around the edge and I'm going to trim to within about a quarter of an inch here. Now that that's trimmed up, I'm just going to snip around the edges here so that when I turn it out the right way, they sit nice and um, uh, neat in the corners. Okay, I'm now going to turn this out the right way and I'm going to push firmly in the corners so that they turn out neatly, like so. I can remove this piece of tape as well now. So push hard into the corner with the finger and then it should all sit nice and flat. I'm going to give him a bit of a press now and there he is my lovely bunny mug rug with an envelope back and there you can see the envelope. I hope you enjoyed this stitch long if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published and thank you very much for joining me. Mm -hmm.